Mm. I see face. I'm gonna fly on a plane with my two and a half year old daughter to Virginia without my wife. Then we're going on an airplane tomorrow. We had a trip planned to go to Austin, Texas, uh, one last trip before our second child arrives, but my grandmother passed away and I needed to go to Virginia to be with my family. Do you think I'll be fine, Kate? Hi. Traveling with Flynn alone on an airplane? Um, I do think it's a lot. Kate's gonna stay in California and we're gonna meet up in Austin, Texas for Mother's Day. This might be a disaster. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna see mom in Texas. Flynn could stay with Kate, but I really want Flynn to see my mom and dad and brothers and sisters. I'm Filipino, and I really want Flynn to grow up proud to be Filipino. All right, made it to the airport. Got a car seat and a diaper bag and one big old bag on my back. Flynn seems a little sad. As a kid, I was a mama's boy, so I, I totally sympathize with Flynn. While the plane is reaching cruising altitude, we're not allowed to use the seat tray. So I kind of hacked together this way to hold the iPad up. But now Flynn doesn't want to sit in the car seat anymore. Luckily, Flynn is taking a nap. It's a few hours past her normal nap time, but she's napping. When the plane lands, she's excited. We made it to Baltimore. Now we got to get to Norfolk. And uh, we got to say, car seat was an accident. Found an Eric's mark cart. Got some fries for Flynn. We gate checked the car seat and it's a lot less stressful getting Flynn onto the plane without having to lug around the car seat. Don't pick your nose. <laughs> We're here in Norfolk. Say hi to Auntie Maya. Can you give her a hug? Hi, Flynn. <laughs> you scared? You now, Flynn is pretty shy around my dad. <laughs> what we call him Lolo. Flynn only gets to see my parents maybe once a year, so she doesn't really know them that well. Can I happy to see Auntie Maya? Hi, Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> You're really happy. Very happy. <laughs> it's 10.30 in Norfolk on East Coast time, which is 7.30 California time. So Flynn woke up right on time, even though you went to bed a little late. Are you hungry? What do you want to get? We gotta get bear! You can't eat a bear. And the memorial for my grandma isn't until tomorrow, but... I want to see my family as much as possible the few days that we're here. We're gonna go see Uncle John. Uncle John. Yeah, my brother. Hey! <laughs> no. Uncle John! No! Who's that? Hey! <laughs> I'm so glad you could. Hi! I couldn't sleep. Hello, who's that? It's not his face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I called up my mom two weeks ago to wish her a happy birthday and it was that day that I found out that my grandma was on her deathbed. My mom was staying beside her all night uh, just to be around in case she passed. So everyone's coming over to where Flynn and I are staying for dinner and Flynn's cousins and my older brother are there and they get to hang out. Hi, Uncle Mark. Flynn's pretty shy around her cousins at first. You can't, you can't just grab him with his hand like that. But it doesn't take her long to hold their hands and have fun. Good job. Hey, good job. Pretty soon, a lot of my family comes over, including my younger sister, Anna, who I haven't seen in a while. It's definitely crowded, and it reminds me uh, a lot of growing up. We weren't surrounded by a large Filipino community, so my family were the Filipinos that I knew. As a kid, and being of a different culture, it could be lonely, it can be kind of scary when people become hostile. So I always felt safe around my family, and you know, I want Flynn to have that same comfort. I wish we could do this more often. You're kind of tossing and turning, but you got to sleep. Toss it. Toss it. You want to see your cousins? Yeah. 
The whole trip started out pretty stressful, but I've adapted, Flynn has adapted. Um, we both miss Kate, but you know, we're having a pretty good time. You're doing it. <laughs> Today's my grandmother's memorial and Flynn gets to hang out with her cousin some more. My grandma used to call my siblings and I her little branches. And I guess Flynn is, you know, an extension of that. My grandma and my grandpa used to play music together. Flynn gets to experience, uh, you know, us being musical together and having a good time. Giving her that exposure to uh, the Filipino side of my family is really important to me. I think I'm finally able to process the fact that my grandma's just not in this world anymore. It's Mother's Day and uh, my brothers and sisters and my mom and dad and uh, Flynn's cousins get to come with us to the airport to send us off. I'm glad I got to tell my mom Happy Mother's Day. It does feel different, you know, with my grandma gone. Like, my mom's the new matriarch. I've had a lot of fun with just Flynn and I. I'm so happy that Flynn got to hang out with my family. She's gonna miss her cousins a lot. Um, but she also misses Kate a lot and I do too. So that's gonna be really awesome to see Kate and wish her a happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs>